Good morning, everyone. The time now... 56 on the nose. I'm Angie Gonzalez. Here's a look at what's happening right now. We are continuing to follow the developing story out of East Toledo this morning where emergency officials remain after an accident at Tony Paco's on Front Street. A semi actually crashed into the building this morning. Arnett Falconer remains live at the scene. Annette, what do we know now? Hey, good morning, Angie. A lot going on right now. As you can see, that truck is still inside of Tony Paco's restaurant. It did crash inside the building at 7.15 this morning. And of course, this is the original Tony Paco's off of Consol and Front Street. Investigators and the disaster crew police have been out here all morning long trying to investigate to see exactly what happened this morning. It appears as if this truck was driving down Front Street when it swerved off the road and hit the front window of Tony Paco's. Now, as you can see here, the impact is pretty severe, but at this point, it's still unclear how fast this truck was moving. Now, at this point, investigators and officials are trying to clean up the mess and survey the damage done to the restaurant. And as far as the roadways out here, most of the intersections are closed, especially here in Consol. Both lanes are closed going both directions. On Front Street, they do have police directing traffic on two of the lanes. But again, they're just trying to keep this process moving, removing this trailer. I did talk to Tony Pacos uh, Jr., and he was telling me that his first thought, of course, was the truck driver. We do know that he was taken to St. Vincent Medical Center. We don't know the name of him, and we also don't have... Um, the condition of him at this time but again we are going to try to work with investigators trying to get more information on exactly what happened here this morning but we do know that they're trying to remove this trailer right now from the building but first they had to remove the back side of the truck and then they have to stabilize the building from the inside before they move the truck part that's inside the building so a lot going on out here i'm telling you there's dozens of people actually right now watching me go live dozens of people across the street and they're just all in shock. And a big part of that reason is because this is the legendary original Tony Pacos. Reporting live here in Toledo, I'm Annette Falconer, NBC24.